Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Matthew from the LG Pharrell Gaming Network, and um, I'm going to continue now with episode two of Kerbal Flight School, where I, and hopefully you, learn to build a plane and, uh, yeah, try to actually make one that flies and lands without breaking up, like you can see here, which is the end of episode one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and revert to space plane hangar and see how we can modify this plane to actually make it land nicely. Now, what I kind of realized from a previous build was this jet engine is really powerful. So I'm going to switch that out for the basic jet engine, which has a maximum thrust of 150, whereas the turbo jet engine has a maximum thrust of 225. So a simple change like that may actually help us a lot. So is that enough, you're asking? Is that enough? I'm asking that too. Small control surface. You know what? That actually might help. I'm going to go ahead and fit that, if I can, to the back of here. See if that gives us any more maneuverability. If I can fit it to the back of here, that is. And if not, then we're stuffed. You know what? Hmm. Kind of need, like, some air brakes or something, something to slow us down when we land. Or maybe I'm just not very good at landing. I'm just going to leave that small control surface there and test this. This is virtually version 4, so we'll call this... Flight School version 4. Let's go ahead and test this. Uh, hopefully, you know what? I think, uh, Bill, you kind of need a break. You've died a lot. So, Bob, I mean, yeah, Bob, you're switching in now. Bob Kerman, it sounds like a strong name. We'll save that as Flight School version 4, as I said. And let's go ahead and launch this bad boy. Now, this small tweak may have helped us. Might not have, but you never know. All right. Time warp one times. Come on, load faster. There it is. There's my beautiful little rocket. All right, so we've just got a smaller engine now. Away we go. This is a nice little basic plane to work off my flight school learning techniques. All right, let's lower the landing gears. Press G, pretty simple. Can I ask a smooth ascent? Nice. Bob's actually looking terrified down the bottom right-hand corner there. Don't panic, Bob. We got this, bruh see how the flying and handling is now. I think there's an airport over there. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just go and try and land it over there. It might be easier than trying to circle back and get him back to that runway. But we shall see. Can I see that in the distance? I think so. Come on. We just have some fun. Rah! Bob looks terrified with the barrel rolling. Don't panic, Bob. We... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, no, 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 stop trying to be smart, Matt. Stop trying to be smart. Okay. All is well with the world. I hope you're all really well, guys. If you've got any models of planes you want to send to me to test out, maybe I can put them in my video. I'd be more than willing to test your builds out. Nothing too professional, though, you know, because this is flight school. We're all learning. Seeing what the capabilities of these planes are. Is that an actual landing strip over there? I think it is. Let's head that way. Do -do 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 All right, so I'm going to fly this way and then circle around to my left. And if it's not a landing strip, then we'll try and land it anyway. Yeah, the speed of this is actually not too bad. 269-ish meters per second. How much fuel we got? Intake air, 0.42 out of 1. Liquid fuel, 141 out of 150. Pretty efficient. That does look like a landing strip. Let's lower ourselves. Cut the throttle a bit. And come in to land. That's it. Tilt that way. Tilt that way. You can hear the sound of the engine dying to a dull roar. As we plummet towards the surface. Don't look so scared, Bob. We've got this. Right, viewers? Right? Did you see episode one? I can land this thing, sure. Um, I can try. Here it is. There's the runway. That looks like a runway to me. This will be mission successful if we can land this on another island. That means intercontinental flights are available on uh, Kerbal Space Program. Yeah. As I said, I'm actually not a bad pilot in space. I can get to all the planets and stuff. I can do docking and all that. But flying is one thing I've never tried. Not really, so... Episode 2, we may have an actual successful flight here. Look at this. We're actually getting there. 
Oh. Oh, come on. Slow down even more. Slow it down. Come on, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. We're spinning out of control. The engine's falling off. No. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. We crashed on the opposing airport. Oh, God. Clean up on Island 2. <laughs> Right, something went wrong there. Okay, let's revert to the space plane hangar and see if there's any more modifications we can make to this bad boy. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take those wings off. And what I'm going to add is some wing connectors. See if that can't help me a little bit. It looks a bit strange. Probably is a bit strange, to be fair. Actually, let's take that off. Let's add a structural piece. The structural fuselage. Actually, you know, what I want to do, actually, is mix up this. So I'll put the structural fuselage at the front, the fuel at the back, move that wheel to the front. Okay, okay. Put the engine back on. Put the wings back on. And we may, we may, don't get too excited, uh, have a flyable aircraft. Let's put these as low as I can. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, I might give it as well. Some, like, little vertical takeoff engines. Yeah! Vertical takeoff engines! That's a good idea. Fuel tank. Can I attach them under there? Looks like I can. Whoa. <laughs> they kind of stick out through the middle, but that's alright. Okay, propulsion. We use these little LV-909. Engines. Oh, now that gives us dual benefit. Alright, so the first engine we want to fire, in this case, we'll test the vertical takeoff. Then we'll fire up that bad boy and fly into the distance. So, Flight School version 5 are on now. Let's go ahead and launch this. This is almost uh, almost like a Harrier jump jet from the U uh, UK RAF. No, the Royal Air Force of the United Kingdom, so let's try. Okay, power up these. And away we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Oh, jeez. All right, them engines are way too powerful, I think. Okay, let's just put like a little bit of, little bit of uh, thrust on them. Oh, no. Uh-oh, now we're down to one. Uh-oh. Oh, Bill. That didn't go so good, did it? You know what? We kind of need, like, a, a three-way so it balances out more evenly. Eh, okay. Let's test that out. Back to the hangar. Can we actually fit three on there, though? That's what I'm curious about. There's one way I know how to do it, and that is by putting another structural piece at the front here. Makes the fuel in the middle. Move the wheel further forward. Alright, and we're going to need another one of those little rocket engines. Do I think those are way too powerful as well. Let's change those for these little Rocket Max engines. So we got two of those there. Then we shall put another fuel tank in the middle here, if we can. This is flight school, so we don't know if it's possible. Oh, it looks alright. It's not quite level. Let's make it level. And then, another little Rockamax engine, and there we go. Alright, let's try this then. So, they fire, we need to change the staging, that goes last, alright. So we'll switch them around. So the jet fuel engine is going to burn second. Firstly, it's going to be these little rocket engines. Okay, this is Flight School version 6, save. Launch! Hope you're enjoying this journey with me, ladies and gents, and you're learning as much as I am. The main thing I'm learning is that I do not know how to build an airplane. I almost, maybe it's just my landing that's the problem. Could be. Alright. Fire up the engines. A little bit more boost. Ooh, we're away! It's a bit wonky. It's a bit wonky. Uh-oh. Power up this bad boy. 
Vertical takeoff is... Oh, God, what's going on here? Ah! Oh, crud. Yeah, that didn't go so well. And our pilot is dead. Darn it. Revert to the hangar. We can definitely get this to work. Come on. I believe in us. Or me. Oh, maybe that needs to go further forward and the wheel could just go further back. But then we ain't got the wheel for landing. Oh, I might just put the wheel there, though. That could be alright. And that works by being further forward. Like so. It did seem a bit wonky on takeoff, but... Hmm. And in order to aid stability, I'm going to put some more little wings. Little winglets. Here, maybe? No, I need even smaller ones than that. Are there smaller ones? Yeah! There we go. Put those... Kind of there. Let's see if that works. That does not look like it's going to work. Oh, that's a bit off. Okay. Zoom me in. Nope, just one of those, not two. Alright. Flight school. Can we do this? Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join me on this. Um, I have no clue if it's going to work. I'm pretty scared, to be honest. And there's no way I can power that up. I need to find a way of, like, decoupling them. But then I don't want them decoupled. Hmm. Could turn them off manually. I could set that up as an action group. Aha! What do we got here? Gear, RCS, no, SAS brakes, abort. <laughs> it might need that. Stage, can we put that in there? Mm, oh, okay. Rocket Max. Shut down engine. And this one. Shut down engine. And this one. No, not activate. Okay, they're all being shut down. Okay, so what do I have to press to, like, shut them down? Oh, no. Not, not shut down. Toggle. Yeah. No. Toggle engine. What do I have to actually press, though, to make that do that? Hmm. Oh, well. This is going to be Flight School version 7. Away we go. Save launch. To infinity and beyond. Can we make it to the other island without crashing? I fear we cannot, but uh, yeah. Slowly learning. All right, we've got little winglets now to aid our stability. Don't want to put too much power in it. Just a little bit. Come on. Fire. Wait, they're not firing at the same time. It's going backwards. Oh, God. Activate engine. We're going to have to do this manually until we can change the staging. All right, good. Brakes on. Good. Now they're all firing. Are they? Yes, they are. Little bit of thrust. Little bit of thrust. And away we go. Activate quickly. Oh god no oh. Oh. Wow Explosions everywhere and another dead pilot. Jeez <laughs> My god, alright. What we're gonna do now is actually take those off temporarily and just test this plane as it is now, because it actually doesn't look too bad. That looks like it could work, right? Alright, this is Flight School version 8. We're not getting very far here. We had more success with the microplane earlier. Hmm. Rubs his hand together with glee. Will we succeed this time, ladies and gentlemen? Stay tuned to find out. Da -da 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 -da. Power up the rocket! <laughs> And do we have lift off? Do we? Not yet. It's too heavy. Building up speed though. Yeah, we do. It just takes more speed to take off. Nice. Da 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 da. -da. And it turns. Look at that. Yeah. Do 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 do. All right. So our mission this time is to get to that island again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Altitude falling. It's too heavy, I think. Too heavy. Engine on max. I'm pressing to the right here as far as I can. It's struggling to turn. This wing at the back here is doing literally nothing. That's one thing we can change, that's for sure. But for now, we must try to land on that island. Pio is looking up to the heavens like, Please, if there's a deity up there, save me from this madman's attempts at flying. Doesn't look like a bad plane though, look at that. I think that actually looks pretty neat. It's just too heavy at the front. Hmm, maybe needs more engines. Wait a second, I can't even control one engine, let alone more. Hmm. Alright. Now we have a little bit of altitude. I'm gonna come around to the side and try and straighten up so we can get the approach on the island. Come on. If we can land this, we'll call it a success, right? Let's make a bet. If I don't land it, then what can I do for a bet? Hmm. What do you think? If I fail the landing, what do you think I should do for a bet? Look at that. Not bad. Go on. Turn. Turn. Turning circle of an arctic lorry. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Turn, you brute. Oh, God, we're going to end up on top of the mountain. Uh, turn. Bill's family are waiting for him to come home. Oh, God, now we're in a nosedive. Pick up speed. Might need to parachute him out of here. We're going down, we're going down, parachute! Ah, he's hitting the water too fast. Bill, where are you? Are you under here? Bill. Ah, oh, fail again, ladies and gentlemen. Damn it. Ah, oh, let's hope in episode three I can actually succeed where I have failed on these previous two episodes. Join me again for episode three of Kerbal Space Program Flight School. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Please leave any comments, likes, and subscriptions, and I'll be uh, glad to talk to you in due course. Bye-bye.